This is FFPÖ, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to FFP. My name is Paul and this is the 29th episode recorded on the 26th of February 2017. And we have a return guest after a long dry spell of Austrians. We finally have him back. It is Florian Reichel. Hi, hey, guys. Flo. Hi, Paul. <laughs> thank you for having me here. Yeah, thank, thank you for being back, man. This, this is this is awesome. Now, after we did something very, very Austrian, we we switched <laughs> gears. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's fine. I'm, I'm and I really want to thank you for having me here. I really yeah. love to see what we've seen. <laughs> yes, because we watched uh, Raum Patrouille Orion Space Patrol Orion, the final episode. Invasion is the name of the. Ooh. at the title of the episode and it's the seventh and last and final episode of uh, Space Patrol Orion. So yeah, you you jumped into the cold water because you didn't know anything <laughs> about it. I don't know it. anything about Space Patrol Orion, but <laughs> I, I promise I'll go and get myself the whole DVD pack. Mm -hmm. the, I have to see all seven episodes. Yes, it is quite amazing. And I, I really... I can't believe that this movie, uh, that this series was too expensive <laughs> for for getting uh, another um, another season. Another yeah. season, yeah. <laughs> But I I love it, and I want yeah. to do something like that at home. Probably the soundtrack. Probably the soundtrack. But yeah. we're gonna go to that later because the first thing we're gonna do is plots and um, yeah. So ju just what what did you? remember from this episode what well, happened what's the okay plot? um basically i have to to acknowledge the movie or the the, the series mm -hmm. is the plot yes. so there is only plot yeah. <laughs> it is one string from beginning to end and it, yeah. okay so it's it, There, there's no 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 extra fat yeah, it's, on it's that. very german yes <laughs> plot. german fix efficiency very yes. efficient yeah <laughs> and i really love that yeah um it's basically uh commander mclean cliff alistair mclean cliff yeah. alistair sorry i don't know him that well um yeah and who is the enfant terrible in the, yes. the space agency and, yes. and he's doing always his own stuff and, yeah and he's basically a, an austrian playing an american being captain kirk yeah <laughs> but, but without the role model right huh without the role model right uh well yeah he, he's very laissez faire in his approach with his subordinates for example yeah and he Yeah, he doesn't give a fuck most of the time. <laughs> yeah, and I really love his accent. He's yeah. ve he's very under um, tenacious, uh -huh. under tension. He's got uh, no real body tension. It's lovely yeah. to see yes. that he's really his shoulders are he's very relaxed. Into, he's really calm yeah, and kind yeah. of <laughs> Baloo the beer. So. Well, it is 1966, so you could imagine that he was like flying high like a kite. Yeah. Like they had good drugs in 1966, I think. Yeah, I and hope he was so. in, a, in a successful <laughs> Star Trek esque mu uh, uh, TV show. So yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So the plot of the episode is that it's all in the title too. Yeah. Invasion. That's what happens. Yeah, the, the Earth is getting invaded. The main thing is that uh, Oberst Willard, which. What's Willer. The, Willer. Willer, yeah. What's the um, English... He's the head of security yeah, but or, or, or counterintelligence. What's Oberst in English? Oh, like a mayor? Major? Major, yeah, major. I think... Yeah. Ma or general major in that case because he's the head of a whole section of the of the army, basically. Yeah, but major and general major are also in German. Major yeah. and, and uh, general major. Yeah. But, but, but the title, okay. they're, they're yeah. different. Like they, for, We don't have gunnery sergeant, for example example oh yeah yeah but they have so it's it's, it's, it's different everywhere Got it. yay so yeah um, but he's a bit, but he's a big 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 shot he's he's like yeah. again the head of security and counterintelligence yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. And, and he's got transformed somehow, but by, yeah. by an accident. Yeah, by we, the, that happens off screen. We don't we don't know about yeah. it. <laughs> it. There's a lot of things through the whole story that are happening off scene. Yeah, <laughs> like all the way back, the, yeah. the destroying of the the evil uh, planet or counterbase. Yeah, yeah, that. Um, it explodes no very celebration yeah, it nothing just, yeah. it's just like we we uh, shot up our overkill secret weapon yeah cut next yeah, scene, scene we, see, at home. we see them back explaining what's happened yeah. <laughs> in a kind of uh, presentation of the doctor so it's, it's yeah, amazing yeah. yeah it's like Dr. House briefing them on a rare illness yeah. or something <laughs> but I, I love it yeah it's, really it's something very uncommon nowadays <laughs> yes you don't so. see something like that nowadays yeah. you couldn't like you didn't you don't yeah, first of all you don't have that many <laughs> you can't you can't have that many white male middle-aged guys in one room and not be a gay pawn yeah maybe <laughs> but well okay i maybe it's an austrian comedy movie <laughs> let's see um yeah. the, the point is what i really love about it is they are so um courageous basically with yeah. what what to not sh be shown yes and nowadays screenwriters would never ever yeah, you have say to drip feed we can everything. leave that away yeah yeah you have to drip feed everything yeah. to the audience yeah like you don't you don't have to figure out anything anymore yeah. all of our minds are so briefed by by modern uh, films nowadays yes. we can't imagine having what a movie have, happen like yes. that <laughs> where something is just missing yeah yeah <laughs> Well, figure you don't it out know. for yourself, Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> just imagine. Yeah, just, yes, use your full set of imagination. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me on yeah. um, this this movie from Robert Gwitzdeck, uh Coal Hearts or Die Verhältnismäßigkeit der Mittel. Oh, okay. How to, how to say that in English? Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Google it, guys. Yeah. Um, it's an it's a movie about a movie to be shot and they have no money for it and the the mm. the director says come on guys let's do it without money we'll just imagine yeah, what's <laughs> and happening. it works it's yeah. amazing to see that right. really it's really inspiring yeah okay love that movie. yeah again but this this tv show used up too much money <laughs> yeah <laughs> of course <laughs> so yeah the, the frogs are invading the planet mclean is the only one to save them he saves them End of story. Yeah, basically. Oh, and the the, the plan of the for, of the the frog plan was to turn the most mo key key figures in the government to use their power, abuse their power to uh, create like a pathway to to Earth directly, because mm -hmm. Earth is only one of like a thousand planets that. Uh, the human race already colonized in this universe. Okay. So, like, Earth is a big thing, but it's not not the end of the uh, the end of the whole civilization if Earth mm -hmm. falls. It is though a big hit to mm -hmm. to lose your home planet, but there's still like people around everywhere. So, for it was just a like a surgical strike from the frogs. Apparently, they didn't have the 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 um, firepower or the amount of they didn't want to. Do a full front on war, but do a surgical strike basically on mm. Earth, and they turned a few, with a I don't know they reprogrammed their brains. That's yeah, all exactly. the explanation that we yeah. got from that doctor. Yeah, and, and you see a little change in 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 Colonel Willard's eyes. Yeah. now he's very passionate. Yes, and, yeah. and that's it. And also Kranz, you see it yeah. in their eyes. So basically, they they are showing it by acting. Yeah. But <laughs> Overacting, maybe. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> but uh, speaking about overacting, yeah, I really love the um, the drunken Oberst Mann. Oh yes, yes, He's that was a very important piece of information yeah, that we got yeah, yeah. from him. I really got um, how to play a drunk man. Yes, <laughs> from him. That's that's what everyone should. Uh, get, get teach in school nowadays. Just so. for the viewers to imagine it, imagine like I don't know, an eight-year-old playing as his drunk uncle, but, but being very nervous on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really, they are looking at me. Oh, I have to do it right. Yes, yes. <laughs> do you see? I'm drunk all the time. I love it. <laughs> and within that, uh, there's a cut in that scene. Yeah. When you switch into his close-up, yeah, you see him close-up. And then he's already feeling like 
Um, close to a heart attack, basically, right? Yeah, you you <laughs> see that he's criticizing himself for yeah. knowing that he's not doing, doing it right. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's lovely. Like, God damn it, Gerald or Hans. God damn it, Hans is like in his inner dialogue. It's like yeah. get it together, Hans. Yeah. This is your big break. Play, Play drunk. drunk. <laughs> Just get drunk the next time. <laughs> Just get actually drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that was yeah, that was an amazing piece of of of, of Film fan, history. fan 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 art. Yes, yeah. And I want th this person to be Austrian. <laughs> oh, that would be great. Yes, um, we could look that up. Maybe it's on IMDb. It's the IMDb page is pretty bad, so there's oh. not a lot of information on that. So sadly, basically, that's a kind of research project for all our yes. students out yes. there. So yes, no, please go and do something <laughs> sensible <laughs> with your lives. Yes, <laughs> um, meaningful. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, yeah, and then they they defeat the frogs by destroying the relay station that they overtook, yeah. and with a magnet, <laughs> just blow it up to pieces. And oh yeah, they, they destroy the frogs destroy a magnet yeah. or or a, a piece of of plumbing <laughs> <laughs> in space. It's it's a space station, but it yeah. looks like like something that have you have under your stink, basically. Yeah, and With as a, you said before, yeah. the whole frog uh, army looked like origami pieces, and it was <laughs> incredible. It was just one thing. Yeah, just someone, copy pasted yeah. 400 times, basically. Uh, amazing, and, yeah. and also when the... The lasers the, shoot at the station, the pew, pew, pew. Uh, yeah, it, it looks like, uh, uh, like an Atari game. Yeah, like a, Atari twenty seven twenty six. Oh, nothing wrong about Atari, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, there's there's this this amazing situation when the the starting base underwater for yeah. for the for the yeah. fleet oh. gets pressurized and and yeah. and blown floods. up. Yeah, it floods. And it floods, and it's so great to see that this is just a top of a of a pot. Yeah, and you see someone spilling water on it. <laughs> it looks really incredible. I yeah. loved it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that. Yeah, we can, we can, we can uh, have that discussion further later on in the yeah, sure. in the episode. Um, but yeah, that's basically the plot. That's yes. that's it. That's it. And uh, yeah, so we're we're done with plot. Oh, f thank God. <laughs> so let's move on to cinematography. Ooh. yeah, I'm I'm still am amazed and embarrassed <laughs> uh, at the craftsmanship because some of the shots. Like in previous episodes, like the framing is sometimes really well done. Mm -hmm. Like you have where where the, where McLean realizes that he's basically alone against the the, the, the government and that he mm -hmm. can't do anything, and it's just him in the frame on the right right hand side, and the rest of it is basically empty. And I, I really like that. I I I, I love the reaction shots sometimes. Yeah. When 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 they when they uh, the the government finally jumps into gear and and starts a counteroffensive and it's just yes. old men yelling into basically telephones yeah it's amazing yeah. <laughs> like I that was uh, that was well well done I thought yeah of course because it, it was like action scene but it's just old guys yelling yeah <laughs> <laughs> but you're like yeah I'm totally intrigued by this what's happening next. Yeah. yeah, but they're very inspired, so it's 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 good to see them yeah. doing that. And they they transport something. They yes. they tell me the story as a yes. viewer, and that's well done. I don't need uh, much computer animation to yeah. To it's get all practical effects. Yeah, and like the, the 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 planet when it blows up at the end. That's basically styrofoam, a styrofoam mm -hmm. uh, shell, I think. That was really new back then, and and. Yeah, no, they, they used like cutting edge technology back then to, <laughs> to do some of the stuff they did. <laughs> cutting edge technology, <laughs> yeah. styrofoam. No, no, for example, the, the, the casino, uh -huh. uh, the underwater casino, uh, the, 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 to mold some of the forms they used for yeah. the countertops and stuff like that, they used a new quick mold uh, plastic mold system okay. that wasn't available like a few yeah. years before that yeah. so they really used the newest technology in yeah. some places and then really shitty stuff in other places yeah. because they ran out of budget basically yeah. with some stuff but anyhow it's it's great to see so much love in <laughs> yes <laughs> yes you see the love and there's the one love. point where i was kind of a little bit okay that's maybe too much i i, I want to acknowledge the choreographer yeah. for his ambitions <laughs> maybe yes there 
there was sh- maybe a little bit there too should, much. There should, there should be a super cut on YouTube <laughs> yeah. of just just, the just them dancing, just yeah. them dancing, because that happened in previous episodes too. But it wasn't this crazy. Yeah, let's show a planet disco in the future. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> that's 1966. Looking yeah. in the future, it's just a bunch of guys doing a weird version of the chicken dance. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Like, we're taking way too much ecstasy and then trying to do the chicken dance. I think then you come up with this. Because yeah. it's like it has this flowing motion too, where you're just like, yeah, dude, your face is so soft. And yeah. only, oh. <laughs> yeah, you have to see it. Look yes, it up. yes, look it up. It, it, is, it is something to, to behold, basically. And yeah, I'm... I'm also very happy with the choice of going with black and white still. Yeah. I don't I wouldn't like that show in, in no, color. No no. Definitely not. It's yeah. it's really good to have it like that. Also when you see the, the Because Star Trek came out at the same time and that was already colorized. Okay. Yeah. So the, the but it was first of all way more expensive to shoot to shoot on, on film color film back then. Mm-hmm. And also, most TVs in uh, in U- Europe still had only uh, black and white. So, mm-hmm. like, there wasn't a market for color as well mm-hmm. back then in Europe. Yeah, got it. Yeah, and and also, it's it's quite much easier to to distinguish mm-hmm. who are the good guys and who oh, are the yes. bad guys. Oh yes, <laughs> yes. You know who are the villains. <laughs> yeah, you know. If, because they were white. Yeah. <laughs> well, the they are all white. Black. They are all white. Oh, you mean the dresses? Yeah, yes. The dresses. Okay, yes. Yeah, there are no black guys in this movie. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, come on, Germany. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Germany, 1966. So, yeah. yeah. The, the, like, the closest get to get to a black guy back then was probably a GI who stayed in, like, Braunschlag or so. No, not. What, 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 what was Braunschlag. It? What was it called? <laughs> uh, Rammstein. In Rammstein. Yeah. Like, something like that. That's the closest they got to a black guy back then. Basically, yeah, yeah. Now it's different. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's like they they, they Crazy things like they, they, had my even, mind. they had even one evil evil lady, like they were egalitarian about that. Oh yeah, yeah. They had yeah, that's true. Female good guys, female bad guys, and the females actually did something. Yeah. Like in most episodes, actually of that show, like women are not useless. What a novel thought. Ooh, mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> got it. Yeah, and not as sexist as some other shows back then. Like there was some crazy okay. stuff in 1966. Yeah, I I, I believe you really yeah. got a lot of experiences on, on shows from that age. Yes, now. yes. How how much episodes have you had of your podcast already? Uh, that, yeah. So this will be the 29th. 29th. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you. <laughs> yeah, I've done some. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm w- just waiting when you get a, a degree from from theater, film, and media. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, just an honor, honorary degree yeah. for releasing 200 episodes. Or something yeah, and like. just for having watched so many Austrian movies, <laughs> yeah. you really should get an academic honor. <laughs> oh yeah, that would, uh, I, I wouldn't say no to that. <laughs> three yeah. degrees, a three degrees, a three degree. Yeah. yeah, and I can do speeches. Like I would love to do a live version of this. Like, I have a Twitter account now, and I could tweet out what we're going to watch next, so the audience could watch it beforehand, and then see us discuss the movie on stage. (laughs) That would be nice, though, right? I would love that. Yeah. Um, Or maybe what even could work is... is, uh, A live interpretation? Yeah, like uh, Stemann and Grissman have done that on the Eurovision Song Contest for a couple of years, you know? Oh, yes. When you have an alternative audio uh, track to to just watch the movie with comments. Nice. Yeah, something like that, maybe. Yeah, there, there's a lot of venues I could go down with this. Yeah. Yeah. But let's keep on target. Yeah. <laughs> and, and go go on to sound. Oh, I can't say anything to the sound. The soundtrack is amazing as always. Look it up, uh, guys. Really, look it up. Yeah. It is, and the the main theme again. For the first time here also was transformed again like they, they already did like basically like interpretation of the main theme to the uh, give different kind of uh, transport different kinds of moods mm-hmm. they already did that but they had a new i think at least a new interpretation of, of this in here when they had the eerie space music when they started mm-hmm. into space the orion 
and yeah. and and that was like a version of the main theme but very eerie and it it, it uh uh got um um it fell silent as they approached space which i thought was really nice mm -hmm. And just the engine noise was the only thing that was remaining. Yeah. I found that was a really cool because they worked on mono back then. Like, yeah. that's the audio set. Yeah, so that's something I I can't imagine. Yeah. Yet, but, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. So so I thought that was really awesome. So that there was like a guy in a cutting room floor with the with the sound <laughs> snippets basically go, <laughs> taping them back together and everything. Like that's an awesome yeah. job right there. Yeah. As I said, very ambitious. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so so I like that. Um, yeah, uh, that sounds. <laughs> the, the sound is. I did notice though in this episode that when in two scenes when the character was too far away from like in the back of the scenery and mm. walked towards while speaking, you ke could hear them getting louder and louder. Yeah, and it was like at the beginning, I was like, "Who who is talking? What what's happening?" <laughs> Like it was really far away. <laughs> like, like I'm losing details for the plot here, yeah. but I didn't <laughs> because didn't. it showed us. Yeah, nothing happened in the end. Every, yeah. Everything's cool. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, so, what did you think of the sound? What, yeah, as I said, any, I, no idea. No idea. <laughs> I was that. Did dumb, you enjoy but, the main but, theme? Yeah, I, yeah, I like catchy, it. Catchy, right? Yeah, and and it's very dr driving and 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 powerful. Yeah, and, it's ambitious. It, yeah, it, it gets you gets the shit going yeah yeah i really wish someone would do a remake of their series now yes that mm, i don't know another remake just continue the story maybe yeah, like that could do work. it like do a like do, do it like star trek do a next generation basically yeah where it's like 60 years in i the really future. think we should do that yes yeah they, they let's like create the, that the, the rights were couldn't be that that expensive there was a movie that came out in 2004 yeah. or something like that but it was really? only cut up episodes okay. pasted together and was really terrible apparently okay. got it yeah they just wanted to cash in on like yeah. what was it 40 years space patrol or something like uh -huh. that got yeah it. bullshit yeah but, but they re-released the dvd then too so that was nice yeah got it like with re remastered so maybe we can create something. yeah yeah <laughs> i would love that yeah like or do it like a fan project like star trek does it sometimes like there are some star trek projects out there like okay. decently made films that 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 use the whole enterprise theme and everything, but they are not officially made by, by mm -hmm. them. It's just a fan project. But yeah, yeah I get it. something like that. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah, and do it really small, like oh, like a newscast maybe. Like you just dress up like that, have a black and white screen and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And just do basically what 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 happened after, like in sixty years in the future, but with the whole empire and everything. Yeah. yeah. Sounds nice, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Great. Let's fucking do it. All right. But we we're gonna move on to yeah. best moments. Not your favorite moment, but your what you thought was encapsulating and will stick with you the longest time. <laughs> yeah. Basically, I loved all this very tenacious and tight and, and uh, strict women yeah i was really attracted by each and every one of the movie <laughs> and they all had the same haircut yeah yeah austin powers hair yeah. guys. yes it is an austin powers totally. haircut. and yes what i really love is yeah, the final baby. gag huh the final gag oh yeah when <laughs> oh yeah that was amazing right when mclean is kissing his um what's her security, name security yeah uh uh, Tamara. Tamara, yeah. He finally kisses her again, and yes. they, then suddenly the crew comes on the big screen, and they were like having a <laughs> a little bet going, a little bet going about yeah. is he going to be brave enough to kiss her there in the in the conference room, conference room, Ooh, and yeah, an empty conference just laughing room. at yeah. them and, and making fun of them, which is really <laughs> unexpected and, and and yeah, great, great yeah. moment. Yeah, that's been the best moment actually for yeah. myself. All right, yeah, for me it was, I think. Just because it was so unexpected. Well, was it? Yeah, it was unexpected. The, the, um, the magnet in space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really amazing. Because, because first of all, 
you never saw those space stations before. Yeah. Like this is the first time they introduced it and they blow it up like three seconds later. <laughs> yeah. Like here it is a new piece of information about the units. Oh, it's gone. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Like I want to know what's the life on that yeah, space Yeah, basically station. it's what, what like don't look at it too close. You will find out what it is because you all have it at home. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Like we couldn't build a bigger model that would have been too expensive. We just have a painting yeah. that blows up. Yeah, and someone has to be. And somebody had to like the the laser beams. Somebody had mm -hmm. to cut and paste pieces yeah. of paper and like stick them on each and in each single frame and move them a bit so that it yeah. travels through the through the through the through the tape. And that yeah. alone, uh, that alone was like, oh, this is amazing. This is yes. just so cool. And it was yeah. the most, I think, the most intense space battle scene. <laughs> In seven episodes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because they only usually, usually just blow up stuff and are on a planet yeah. or something like that. They are rarely really in space. There's little space patrolling going on in Space <laughs> Patrol Orion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like the minimal amount. Like in Star Trek, yeah. they're tracking the stars. But in, in Space Patrol, they're like, maybe 5% is, is actually patrolling, 95%, or oh, we're gonna do whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> yeah. And I love the approach. It's yeah. a really, <laughs> it's a let's see what we can do that we already have around us. Yes. <laughs> Very poor approach. Yes. Yeah. And that's, I think that's because you're, you're new to the show, um, for the secret category, we're gonna go with um, um, wait. I'm gonna write it down first. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, what was it called? Mo oh, mm. model living in a modern home or something like that. That was a modernist woman. Okay. Yeah, because underwater. Yeah, first of all that, and just tell me what was like the most egregious thing where you're like, oh yeah, that's just. A home appliance, or because I pointed a few things out, but yeah. you might have caught something else too. Um, something basically, no, I didn't look or that close. Or something that, but that is science fiction, and you really want in in the here and now from that show. Uh -huh. What 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 do you want from there? Mm, yeah, I think I would love to have these um, these weapons. <laughs> oh, did you mean <laughs> they the, look, they the look meat, like the candlestick? Yeah, they look like plastic. Uh, shovels oh yeah like toy that shovels have been a little bit melted <laughs> yeah <laughs> and, and they were great you know yeah i i, I really got scared <laughs> it actually it actually is like the phaser bit. in star trek so you can stun people with it but you can also just evaporate melt them, them down yeah yes yeah. yeah it was actually they never did it because like no. we don't have the budget for melting yeah. a person how, how should we do or show the, that the, the only way is that we actually melt a person yeah. and that's gonna be expensive <laughs> <laughs> like we have to find a guy who wants to be molten. Yeah. yeah. Let's let's molten? pretend. Yeah. Let's Melted. pretend. Yes. <laughs> um, somehow the secret title of all the series, I guess. Yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, for me, again, it's it's. I I I love the 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 lead sharpeners mm -hmm. for for for. Uh, that they use as control knobs, <laughs> then then I love I love the ironing. They, they use in in early episodes they used an iron to yeah. be the control unit <laughs> for the ship, like a joystick basically. <laughs> that was an iron. Yeah, because that, in 1966 there was still like an electric iron that, that was still high tech. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Miele, Verlässlichkeit oh, für viele. Oh yeah, there's still like my grandma still has like her 40 year old Miele. Uh, yeah. Iron, because it's so just why not for die. the next thousand years? <laughs> yeah, those. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Let's see what it is in thousand years. Yeah, yeah. So the only thing that will prevail is German products. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You <laughs> don't know. Maybe it's a really intelligent iron that is going to evolve with yes, mankind yes, in the next thousand years. Iron. Maybe a, a kind of a spaceship there's, is going to evolve out of it. <laughs> there's actually there's actually a, a short story by. Uh, uh, not Isaac Asimov, uh, the other Polish sci-fi writer. Uh, God damn it, he has a W in it. Stanisław Lem. Okay. And in that, uh, it's actually uh, washing machines. Two companies that build washing machines, mm -hmm. and the one 
they they try to improve them and put more more and more functions in it. It's like the smartphone race now, okay. basically. So they put more and more stuff in it. And he wrote that in like 1960 or something okay. like that. And the washing machines get better and better and better. And at some point they get legs and arms so they can fold the laundry themselves after mm-hmm. washing it. And they 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 uh, get get faces so they can interact with people. And they slowly turn into humans, basically, that do less and less mm-hmm. washing and yeah. turn more and more into humans yeah. and at the end uh, they, they have like a big congress where they discuss the, the, the situation yeah. right now and they scan everybody and everybody's a washing machine okay. except oh. for one person oh, wow. and he's like alone at the end of the meeting because yeah. everybody else <laughs> destroyed themselves because they found out that they're washing machines wow yeah it's a really good it, it, story a little bit of, it reminds me on the video of Sap Galura. Uh, it's a friend of mine. Yeah. Band. Okay. Where they show the the love story of a of a lone mole robot and a <laughs> and a household. Um, a vacuum cleaner. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah, an iRobot. Nice. Yeah. It's it's an amazing video. You should really look that up. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. You just send it my yeah, way. Great. All right. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. What else? There, there, there's there's a bunch of other households. They they have like the the um, from the hand mixer. They have they have stuff like that, and they have like from from um, the tap, the 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 dial from the tap. Yeah, those are those yeah. are in there. <laughs> and also that computer was amazing. The, yeah, the, the stenograph. Uh, the, the stenograph, as yeah, you said, and and then there was another computer where she's looking up the secret information oh, yeah, 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 before yeah. she's gotten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, looks get, like get captured, yeah. two hand calculators, basically one for the left hand, one for right yeah, hand. Yeah. Yes. And the old TV sets. Yeah. <laughs> and that's amazing. High tech computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really cool. Yeah. On the other hand, there were no computers in 1966, oh, right? Oh, yeah. No, no. We had, like, computers exist, like, proto computers. Like, it's hard to define when it started because yeah. there were mechanical computers before there were, like, digital ones. But in the Second World War, computers basically started. Like, that, that would help this decrypt the, the Enigma machine. From the Nazis. Yeah, but the these were that big. They they, they were needed huge. houses yeah, yeah, for yeah. it. Yeah, but in 1966, you already had like like uh, mainframe computers, mm-hmm. like from IBM, and 66 really. Yeah, yeah, yeah like tape. Like okay. you had a central unit, and then you had like workstations throughout okay. the the office. Okay, cool. Yeah, I didn't and know that. that. And those basically tapped into the central central mm-hmm. unit. Yeah, it was That's really high tech back then, and they cool. were. Ex- Expensive. Yeah, yeah. And you couldn't do sh- jack shit with them except for like data analysis, and that was it. Like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, calculate the moon landing and stuff like that. Basically, yeah. that's something I'm going to visit the next time when I'm in UK. I'm going to see Bletchley Park. Oh, that's nice. You see him nowadays. Yes. To see all that counter enigma stuff. That's oh, that would. That's that's a that's a visit worth worth doing. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So um, yeah, let's let's move on to stick to the topic. Yeah, let's move on to our last part. We're we we're, we're making good time. We have thirty seven okay. minutes in. That's that's not bad. Or thirty minutes in. And that's final conclusion. Yeah. Would you recommend this movie uh, this T V show? Would you in what way would you like in, for people who don't know the show? Would you how how would you let them approach that subject? Like watch them watch it with friends, watch it alone. What, what uh-huh. should you do? Yeah, I really recommend to watch this whole episode. Yeah, um, especially in a group of friends, or yeah. if you're really interested in in creative uh, attempts to to create films, uh, I I think it's really inspiring and encouraging to yes. do stuff. And and to, to yeah, go yeah because out they made an intriguing sci-fi show with just yes. practical effects yes, yes they did and just that's great work. and you just go and see okay it works it works it works it works and we can do this by ourselves as well yeah and if you're fantastic and and willing to to do something yourself it's it's really inspiring mm-hmm. and if you're just in a few your fantasy got uh, is, is Get- getting touched or stimulated stimulated yeah if you're really totally. expecting clear explaining pictures you don't save want your get time it. yeah you won't get it yeah, yeah yeah this is this is nothing that you're just going to lightly i guess no yeah you have to really 
first of all, uh, um, suspend your disbelief at the fact that like the crew is inter inter <laughs> <laughs> is supposed to be inter interracial inter interstate. Inter yeah. It's like it's like a one human government. Yes. You know which one? Yeah. <laughs> we all approach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1966, though. Like they. The thousand year Reich? Yeah, no, that wasn't well, happening. Three thousand? Well, some of those actors. It's kind of a remake. Well, some of the, some of those actors probably acted in some stuff during the Nazi yeah, regime. I'm quite some, sure. Some of them were old enough to, to be like, I was a uh, major general or something like. I well, actually was a major. Well, a friend of play. mine was um, a general major those days. Yeah, he could do this acting great. I'm mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> A Noah guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, if you want to, you can you can make a drinking game out of it. No problem. Uh, of course. Yeah. Every time you see a, an amazing special effect, drink. Every, every time. time you see an and thing <laughs> yeah, that is in a household that, that's object. in your household yeah could be, and you recognize yeah. it yes the others have to drink yes oh yes yeah you point it out first you don't yeah. have to drink the rest has yeah. to drink nice yes yeah okay yeah um then maybe every time uh somebody's drunk yes yes and somebody is when somebody's drunk finish your drink yeah. <laughs> yes. and also what i would really recommend is to 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 make a game out of these choreographies. Oh yes, because it's so. <laughs> it's amazing. It's fantastic. Basically, yeah. it's 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 a, a great body work we see there. Yeah, yeah. I I wouldn't expect dancers. it there. I wouldn't have it there. Basically, <laughs> I, be, I bet that ate up a lot of the budget. Yes, just for sure. just the you choreographer and then all those professional dancers because you couldn't have like just extras do that. No. Not with that precision. No, yeah. no, no. It's really pre pre precise. Precise. Precise and, yeah. and tight. So it's great work. Yeah. Yeah. So totally, a uh, uh, tot uh, 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 complete recommend of the whole show. Watch yes. all of it. Yeah. Um, and we're finished now with our first, like this is the first show. Like I started three other trilogies and everything, but I didn't complete them yet. Okay, wow. So this is the first that got finished on FFP. So you're you're my finishing move. Yeah, I'm yeah. A great finisher. <laughs> yeah, I put my uh, I put my flow out for this. Oh. Yeah. I hope it reichelt. Ah, oh, sad. <laughs> and the people who will understand that joke is very small. Oh, don't mind. <laughs> Go try out yourself as a comedian. Yes, exactly. So plugs. Where, where can people find you? What what are you up to right now? So this uh, is will will be up in like a month. Yeah, great. So Google my name. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have a website, florianreichel.at, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I, I think it's com, but I don't know. AT uh, or com. Yeah. yeah, just send me the link. I put it in the yeah, description great. below. Let's do that. Yes. Um you will find FFP as always on uh Facebook, iTunes, every podcasting platform known to man on ffpu.at on youtube do you already have a website uh, yeah ffpu.at but for yourself as a comedian oh not yet not yet that's that's coming but but we'll we'll see yeah um and uh yeah come back next probably next week or this week i don't know when i'm gonna release this shit i don't know i don't know things um all right guys uh thank you for listening in and see you the next time bye, bye.